Why, hello, my little subjects. My name's King Wolf Hell, and welcome back to Outlast. In the last episode, we, uh, hey, bud, you're being a little loud. You're, you're being a little loud. Um, last episode, I learned how to use, uh, censoring. I learned, I learned how to pixelate a screen in my editing software, and also we got our fingers cut off. I don't have much of a choice, dude. I don't want to get closer. They couldn't control it. And you can't control it. Nobody. 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 He'll find you. He'll oh, they removed it. I'm good. Now. Trigger. Trigger. Ah! Hey, um. I see what's up. You're bored. Did you not see me? You want a little attention. Perfectly understandable. I'm here for you. I'll give you very special attention. Oh! Okay, that was really rude. Okay, the quicker we can get out of here, the better. Uh. Fuck! Fuck, really? You aren't gonna walk on me! We're not gonna. Oh, I should have recorded that, shouldn't I have? Okay, well. Kill me. No, I don't think I will. Can't go that way. Okay, I gotta find a key. There's not very many places I can go. Hey, bud. Do you know where I can find a key? Oh, there's a door. Right next to it. Never mind. Am I gonna have to go near where? Am I gonna have to? Mm, I might die here. Where'd he go? There's no key anywhere in here. There's got to be somewhere I can go. You have the key? If I kill you, will you give me the key? We'll just... I have zero clue what to do because I can't get to that. Can't do anything here. This door's locked. Huh. 
I have zero clue what to do. Scary noises. I think I might be stupid. I'm assuming we're going to need to get through here later. And moving this will never come back to bite me in the ass. Hey, bud. We're gonna ignore the yelling people and we're gonna move on. Stop yelling! It's not going to help you. One of these is absolutely going to have someone in it and they're going to yell with battery. Give me. Or not? Buddy. You saw nothing! Ah! You saw nothing! You didn't see me get in there, you suck. Ow! Screw you! He's gonna immediately check this bed and I'm gonna die. Okay, are you gone now though? Like straight up, that was rude. Go back where you found me. That's cheating. I'm a close. That's who I am. Go back into the other patient room, please. What is he doing? I'll go back into that room. Oh, that's not good. Hey, nobody likes a quitter.
Alright, we gotta draw his attention. Hey, yell. Be loud. Here's the issue. He definitely went back that way. What? I knew it. Alright, so here's the plan. We're going to run away to the lockers. All right, now he should de-aggro at some point, 800 years from now. Wait to see if he comes in here. Yeah, he comes in here. Hey, uh, shut up. This is bullshit. That's who I am. Oh, there's a vent here. Well, I'm done with you, so go away. I want nothing to do with you and you removing my hamstrings. Documents from David and Erpuna. What? <laughs> Anna Perna. Good. I can't read. H R H H resources at MerkovCorp.lu. Request for reassignment to him. Make concern. This is my third time asking for reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I have been my an orderly my entire adult life, but have never experienced such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. I have even I even had suspicions that some of the patients may be being abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign and may very well consider contracting the press. Thank you for your time, David and Aperna. David's probably dead. And we're gonna have to live with that. No battery in the toilet? That's rude. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to open these doors and get attacked by a doctor with a big old knife hand? Oh, there's the key. Did we see anything else important? Documents, batteries, muffins. Yep. We'll just, uh... Can't find me in here, can he? The one closed stall in here? Now the question is, are we better off just running past him? <laughs>
Don't look back. Wait. Are we in the original area? How do we get here? Were these two areas connected the whole time? Oh, I went the wrong way. No, wait, no, the elevator's right here. I knew I was gonna need to remove that later or earlier. Haha. Uh -huh. No. Ah! Bro. Yeah. Die. You crazy freak. Now the elevator's stuck. Great. Great. Look what you Look what you did. Look what you did. Some people, just inconsiderate. Oh, where the hell am I? If I go up, I can at least jump off the building if something goes bad. Guess not. Oh, a barricaded little security room? That seems... safe. Why are you saving? Something's coming through that. Or that. Who are you? Thank God you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Oh. Meet me outside. We're close now. Okay, bye. Ah, burning body in the sink. How lovely. I was like, why is this all smoky? And I just, I literally just mentioned the burning body in the sink. Battery? From R. Traeger Murkoff Lou, a subject on a per employee number 531920. That's the guy who was just asking for our transfer. Uh, Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of orderly 531920 David Annapurna and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his pers persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until time of his death. Thank you, buddy. Rick Traeger Murkoff, R&D. Oh, no.
that guy was like, hey, um, so I have concerns about this place. Um, I'd like to be released from my, uh, from my duties. And they went, oh, I'm, you poor thing, you must be going crazy. Time to be committed. Mm, broken glass. My favorite. Oh yeah, let's just jump into a flaming room of death. I had to burn it. All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these things. Because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Hey, I'm with you on that one. Get out. You want to let me get out from the kitchen. Turn on. Why do, I don't want to turn on the sprinkler system. I want this place to burn. Okay, ow. I could also just sacrifice myself and let this place burn. Like, that feels more reasonable. You know what I'm saying? After everything I've been through, I was just like, you know what? Yeah. All I gotta do is jump out of- you know what? That You know what it solved a lot of the problems? I should have jumped out a window a long time ago. More documents. If you're seeing this, say something. There's no shame in psych... Psychopathological Proximity Stress Disorder. Talk to your supervisor, get help from Murkoff Success Counselor. Interesting. Stop saving every like 50 feet. That's terrifying. Okay. So I'm gonna have to turn on valves to turn on the sprinkler system. My guy, I haven't even started the mission. I haven't even started looking for the valves yet. And your big ass is chasing me. What is wrong with you? Get a hobby. Some people. Alright, well. I guess in the next episode, we're going to save the building. Um, we'll just trap him in there with the fumes. Uh, I guess we're going to save save this building... In the next episode, rather than jump out a window, like... Like, oh, you know what? The windows are barred. That would make sense. That would make sense. Alright, well. In the next episode, I feel like I've said this like four times now. But in the next episode, we're gonna have to uh, find the water so we can turn on the sprinkler system. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.